Hey guys, Tonic here. Today I would like to show you some of the best camp locations that have an amazing view in Fallout 76. Let's get into it. First up, we have an awesome spot that I don't really see used very often. It has a ton of flat land and an amazing view of the Toxic Valley and Forest region. This location is going to be right here on the map just next to the crosshair, and getting here can be a bit of a hike, but once you do arrive, it is totally worth it. This camp location is so flat, and building here is really easy. When you do want to place your camp, you can incorporate as much of the mountainside as you want, or you can kind of hang your camp off the cliff just to get a little bit of extra room. And it is a relatively safe area, I don't really get attacked here too often, and if I do, it's mostly just some mole rats or some wild dogs, but the view here again is just absolutely amazing. You can see a lot of the Toxic Valley, you can even see into the forest region, and way in the distance you can actually see top of the world and even some ash from the ash heap. And again, I don't really ever see players building here, so getting your camp spot taken when you log in shouldn't be a very big issue. But now let's move on to the next location. This camp location is going to be right here on the map, just up the hill from Bolton Greens, and it gives you an amazing view of Morgantown. Now, unlike the last location, the terrain here is a bit uneven, so you will kind of have to build some foundations to really flatten this place out, but it does have some pretty cool little spawns. So you can loot this tent daily for junk as well as this chest, and it does have a random encounter location. So every so often you can have some pretty cool visitors that will stop by your camp. Building here is also pretty safe, you really won't be getting attacked by much, mostly just your scorched and other wild animals. But continuing on with the forest region, let's move on to our next camp spot. This next camp location gives us a great view of the Ohio River and it has some pretty flat land. This camp location is going to be right here on the map, right next to Relay Tower EMB-127, and it's also pretty close to Vault 76, so if you are a new player, you should be able to get here pretty easily. It's a very safe location, there's not many enemies that spawn here, mostly just some mole rats and dogs if you ever do get attacked, and it does also come with two random encounter spawns, so right here I do have two different scavengers that are walking around, and the view here is... Super cool, I love that you can see the river here, you can see a lot of it as well, and you can even see it go off into the distance off the map. Also, I don't really see too many players building here, so just like the first location, getting your camp spot taken shouldn't be that big of an issue, but now let's move out of the forest region and into the Savage Divide. This location is going to be right here on the map, just next to the Palace of the Winding Path and right near the Sacrament area of Mothman Cultists, and the view here is super cool. You can see the mire way in the back, you can see the munitions factory right down below, and you can even see the Red Rocket Megastop over there in the distance. This location does have a lot of flat land as well, so if you do like flat land building, this might be the place for you. It does have a little pre-existing structure, which is like a little moonshine shack, and it does have a few things inside. But if you don't really want to build on top of this mountain here, you can actually just run a little bit over here, and there's a really nice secretive tucked away part that you can build on as well. The terrain down here is a little bit more uneven, but all these objects can be removed by just placing an object over them, so you can kind of clear this area out and still get a really cool view while kind of being hidden away. And moving on to our last location, we have a super unique place that is overlooking the Cranberry Bog. This last location is going to be right here on the map, right up the hill from Camp Venture, and this place is super cool. Out of all of these places, this might be the most popular one that I do end up seeing a lot of camps at, but this stone archway is super cool and I've seen it used in a lot of camp builds in really unique ways. This can be an entrance to a camp, it can be a little back part of a wall for a camp as like a lookout. There's a lot of really cool things that you can do with this, and heading through this you actually have an amazing view of the Cranberry Bog, you can always see nukes falling right down there on the Scorch Beast Queen. And if you don't want to use this archway, there still is a ton of flat land in this area that you can build on. However, this area is going to be the most dangerous out of the few. You can see down there we do have a pack of ghouls moving, and there even is a glowing bloated one down there as well. I do have one bonus location for this video, and that is going to be Seneca Rocks. It felt really wrong not to mention this area while talking about the best views in the game, but the reason that this is not on my top 5 list is just because of how hard it is to actually build up here. You can see that the terrain is just horribly jagged, it's very uneven, and getting your floors placed up here is an extreme challenge that takes a lot of time and patience. However, if you do want to take this challenge and build up here, you are going to be rewarded with one of the best views in the game. I believe that this is the highest point that we can actually build at, and you can see pretty much the entire map. But again, it is very hard to build up here. I have seen it done, I have seen some pretty cool camps up here, I even do have one right now that I am working on, but it does take a while. 
So I really hope that this video helped you find a new spot to build your camp at. Narrowing down this list to a top 5 was super hard honestly. There are so many great views in Fallout 76. I had a few locations that didn't make the list just because they were lacking some qualities that these locations had. Things like flatland or random encounter spawns. So if you would like to see a part 2, for sure let me know down in the comments below. But that is pretty much going to be it for this video, so I would like to thank you for stopping by and watching. And as always, I would like to give a massive thank you to all of the channel members. Schwitz, Christy Mel, Digital Aardvark, Theodore, Chris Decker, Ice Cream Manny, Bowser Double Frang, Arjun Deer, Jay Smith, 23 Icefire, Patrick Ruta, Heather Henderson, Citizen Girl, Captain Awesome, Anna Reestes, Lanthar, Robert Kennard, Adam Steinson, Golti, Network Gate, Fallout McFly, Anna S, Kevin W, Anxiety Rangers, Axel, Dalton Murphy, Esdeath93, Yosevated, and Pitboy. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys and have a great day.